Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reed. Today I want to talk to you guys about the graphic novels March, books one and book two by Congressman John Lewis, as well as Andrew Aiden and Nate Powell. This is actually a graphic memoir and if you guys aren't aware, John Lewis is considered one of the big six of the civil rights leaders. He was the chair, I believe, of SNCC, which was the Student Nonviolent Something Committee. <laughs> I forgot what that first C stands for, but they were basically like the student nonviolent organization. This story mainly takes place during the civil rights movement. The first book actually does something really interesting, which I wasn't expecting, and it actually flashes back and forth between when President Obama was first inaugurated, as well as Congressman Lewis's younger life, which I thought was really interesting and a really smart contrast to make between that moment in history and this moment in history. I think for a lot of people in the United States, we know about the civil rights movement because we all learn about it in school. But what I really like about this is not only was John Lewis there during the time, he's one of the only leaders left from that period who's still alive. And he's one of the few people who can provide still like this firsthand experience and firsthand account of what was happening during that time period, he talks about what's sort of known in the popular media and then provides a little bit more background on those uh, stories or those photographs we may have seen or the things that we may have heard about. Both of these graphic novels are completely in black and white and the art style is really well done, at least in my opinion. Um, they're mostly just like panels like this. Occasionally you have like the full page spread like this and occasionally you have the full double page spread like this. I really, really enjoyed both of these. I think not only because I'm interested in the subject matter, but also just because I love when you get to see sort of more behind the scenes type stuff about things that we learn about when you're younger. This book is very, very honest. Like John Lewis is not afraid to be real about the situations. Um, he's also very honest about himself and his own perspective on things. He talks about his own biases and just like why he was motivated to feel a certain way compared to how other people may have felt during that time period, which I really liked. I think these books go better together. There's going to be a third book, it's going to be a trilogy. So um, both books end in sort of like the middle of a story. So I feel like reading both of these together was really helpful because I think if I just read one book at a time I'd feel unsatisfied because you're not really getting the complete story. But I think reading one and two together I felt more satisfied and I think once you have all three, it probably would work best just reading them back to back to back. But that's not to say you should necessarily wait on this. If you haven't already put this on your list, definitely put it on your list because I think it's a very important time in history that we have a very um, surface level knowledge of and I feel like this helps provide a little bit deeper knowledge about it. Also just the fact that it's in graphic novel form, it's much more digestible, but I think it also makes the situations more real because you're seeing the situations play out. You're seeing like the faces and the reactions and things like that. So if you are someone who likes graphic novels or especially if you like graphic memoirs, this is definitely some that you have to pick up because it is just very, very emotional during certain points and I think it's just so honest and so real that it's like, how can you not like this? And also if you're someone who's interested in African American history or you have a general interest in American history, this is a great way to get that across. This is also would be great for like kids, I think. So yeah, that is my quick review on March the Graphic Novel. I will definitely be picking up a volume three whenever it comes out. I'm not exactly sure when that's supposed to be. And I definitely recommend it for people as well. If you've read this series, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of it. Or if you have any questions on the series, feel free to leave that down in the comment section as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.